Hi, welcome to Kitchen Revelations. Today's recipe is one of the requested ones by my subscribers. It is white cake frosting without whipped cream. I had earlier uploaded a video where I have made both the frostings that is dark chocolate and white frosting. Link for that video has been given in the description box below. So this recipe is little bit different from the previous one. So without wasting much time, let's quickly start with the recipe. Into a pan, I am adding 500 grams of unsalted butter. The butter has been brought to room temperature. Please do not use very hard cold butter taken directly from the fridge or melted butter as it will not give the desired consistency for the cake frosting. With the help of a hand mixer, I am going to beat the butter till it turns nice and fluffy. You need to beat the butter for a good amount of 5 to 10 minutes or till the butter turns white in color. Gently scrape in the sides and then beat again till it turns white. So it's almost been 7 to 8 minutes and our butter has started to turn white and fluffy. A closer look will let you know how smooth and white it has become. So this is how the butter looks before and after beating. It was earlier bright yellow and now it is white in color. So now it's time to add icing sugar. Please check my previous video where I have explained how to make icing sugar at home. The link for that video has been given in the description box below. So add 3 to 4 tablespoons of icing sugar, mix well and see and then add later amount as required. After adding the icing sugar, using the hand mixer blend everything well. After mixing everything well, I still feel that the frosting requires little more sweetness so I have added 2 to 3 tablespoons of icing sugar again. Then I am adding a pinch of salt. To this, I am also going to add 1 teaspoon of vanilla essence. Here I am using French vanilla essence. The link to buy this essence has been given in the description box below. Now give everything a final mix using the hand mixer. So you can see that it has formed stiff peaks. If you find this buttercream frosting very hard, you can add 1 to 2 tablespoons of milk. However, I am finding it perfect. So I'm using a cling film to cover this bowl. You can also use an airtight container to store the frosting in the refrigerator. So allow this buttercream frosting to reset in the refrigerator for at least one hour. So it's been almost one hour. So our frosting has set very well. At this moment you can coat your cake using this frosting or you can transfer them into piping bags for decorations. So I hope you like this white frosting or buttercream frosting recipe. If you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching Kitchen Revelations.